everybody, David Rodriguez here, and today we're going to be going, we're going to be combining two uh, sections from the joint warm-up. We're going to be combining the elbows and the wrists together. So having, uh, we're not, we'll cover shoulders in a later video because I need a wall. I don't really have a wall right now, but anyways, so having strong elbows and strong wrists right, is obviously important for us as trickers. We, despite all doing having swing chains kind of being our big thing, we also have um, touchdown rises, we have cartwheels, cart, any cartwheel variation, helicopter row, um, b-boy stuff, air flares, 1990s, things like that. <clears throat> and so having strong wrists and elbows is going to help us mitigate um, this dislocations or any kind of like um <clears throat> for those who are a bit uh hyper mobile we can kind of start building some strengths even if we do go out to these more extreme outside ranges it's not going to be as the injuries won't be as disastrous if something does occur so for the elbows <clears throat> i'm gonna be here so I'm scoot over so you got, see so with the elbow you just keep your arm by your side, right? And you can do it with both hands. I'm going to just show you with one. So you're just going to, you'll do two different kind of variations. So you'll come up. Try to keep everything here. Now you're going to try and turn from the outside. It's kind of easy to think about turning from the wrist, but you want to almost kind of think about it that like you're turning from here, from the elbow, and you come back down. Same thing. Turn from that elbow, from the wrist. Bring it back up. Turn, come back down. And now you can even do it and now you can do it the opposite way. So we'll come up, turn, come down. Turn, come up, come down. Now you don't want to be moving from your shoulders, so you're not doing this and then coming down. Nothing moves. Only just the only the wrists and the elbow moves, right? <clears throat> Now the other thing is, <clears throat> excuse me, is elbow circles. Elbow circles are a little weird. I still don't think I really got the hang of them, but I don't really use elbows. I don't really do a whole lot of elbow work in my warm ups just because they've never bugged me before, and so I just leave it out. But so for your circles, for your elbow circles, so you'll start here. You're gonna bring it in. Bring it all the way to here. And then once you've kind of reached this threshold, you'll do the same thing. You'll turn it out and now you'll kind of wipe along, just like this. And you can even go back the other way. You come up like you're waving at somebody. Here, turn in, boom, just like that. <clears throat> kind of like the whole wax on, wax off thing. If you knew the correct kid references. Now, uh, so, that's it for um, specific elbow. Now, we'll move on to our uh, wrists. So now we're gonna go and move on to our wrist portion. Now, when we do this, actually, you know, this is probably easier. So we're going to move on to the wrist portion of this. Now I'm going to have to do this from this uh, POV style. Now, when you go, obviously you would have both hands on the ground. But I'm going to try my best. I'm going to keep everything nice and straight, right? Boom, whole way through. So from here, you're going to come to the side. You see this? In and around. Now, I hope the shadow um, didn't prevent you from seeing that, but if you notice that when I come around right, and I put weight on my hands, I'm going to actually push in to the ground. All right, see? You see how my fingertips are turning white? That's how you know that you're pushing into the ground. And you'll feel it too. So you go that way, clockwise, push, 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 push counterclockwise sweet that's actually just uh, pretty simple um, you can do the same thing 
with your hand turned the other way, just like this. Okay, push into the ground. Come. Sorry for my shadow, but yeah. So, big circles. Actually. So what it'll look like in practice, this is you're just gonna have hands on the ground, right? Come around, push to the ground, circle the other way, push to the ground. Feel that weight in your fingertips each time you come around and you push. Same thing, palms are, palms are gonna be facing you to the ground. Push, you can even lift off just like this. Boom. You can also do wrist circles. So, same thing, same idea is that you're trying to keep everything isolated. Nothing should move other than the wrist. So from here, right, you come up, down, turn this to the outside, bring it up, turn, Come down. So down, bam, and go the other way, right? The outside. This is a little bit more awkward. Bring it in. Come down. Once again, wrist circles. Up. Out. Now from going to the outside, outside, in, down, open, outside, in, down. So that's going to be it for the wrists and elbows. Hope you've been enjoying this series so far and again if you want to follow, if you need kind of like hands-on stuff, please download the link that's in the description for the joint warm-up. It has all these exercises that I talk about and I type them out in case reading is better for you other than seeing. And I will see y'all next time. And we'll be going over um, shoulders and probably neck. I don't know if I'm going to combine the two, but shoulders and neck for the next video.